Hello everyone. Welcome to School Talks. It is said that only the brave choose to teach. And today we have with us a brave heart, Deepanita Miss, who is the senior most teacher at St. Willibrod High School. Welcome Deepanita Miss to School Talks. Thank you so much, Clarima. So we are thrilled to have you on this podcast. Tell us about how you feel. I'm feeling super excited as well as a little bit nervous. <laughs> okay. So can you share uh, your teaching journey and experience over the years here? Yeah, it has been last 16 years it has been passed I have joined St. Mary Broad High School. That time when I have joined that time I was not uh, uh, sure about that I could continue but as the year has passed I gained so much experience and finding the positive influence on the students when they are joining the uh, science Uh, graduates or they are becoming doctors they are becoming engineers i feel so excited and i love to teach science in that one so what inspired you to become a science teacher and how has this evolved over the years the passion for teaching science of course it is fostering love for uh, see the students to become scientists engineers doctors as well as there are diverse careers for that one i love science and uh, as as i told I, the year has passed i can see so many students because i am having a passion for science so i am having that thinking that i can ignite that passion in my students also so i every year i think that at least 50% students should opt for science that is my thinking and it is increasing day by day yes that is a positive influence i can find in a students That wonderful is, to know yeah. that so how do you make it more uh, you know the teaching of science more accessible to students or more engaging to students is there any strategy that you follow in particular of course of course there are strategies see science means it is experiments and students love to do the experiments activities are there as well as uh, so many experiments that are actually relevant to their real life they are doing or they are performing at home but they are not knowing that this is a science experiments when we explain about that they love for it even i told them that if you are having any of the broken car or any of the open it find the motors inside it because they are having that concepts and all that one so they are doing all these practicals they love for it so oh. that is the thing strategies are there many uh, plannings are there activities that can they can understand more about it Yes. so that activity yes. so you're saying that uh, uh, you know it's the experiential learning that uh, you're talking about so is there any specific teaching method to bring out the interest in science in students of course there are project based learning are there according to the concept the activities are planned so that they can understand more and um, that real life as i told that that is relevant to the real life when they are doing the practicals they are learning more about it so they many mysteries are there that that they want to know about it about sun about water uh, that is many of the mysteries are there they learn about that black holes when we are talk, talking about black holes so they are more interested to find and now because of the technology they can find out more uh, concepts about that more informations about that and day by day it is updating so that is all things are helping us yeah So, can you share uh, any memorable experience that you have had with students in your career? Yeah, past fifteen batches has gone, and there are many students who were uh, initially they were frightened to join the science, but as the day passed, when they had seen uh, about these experiments, and I experience uh, share my experience with them, as well as many students who are uh, who had become a doctor today, they are engineers. some had joined iit some had some are uh, many of the divers because there are divers careers they can go for pure science also as well as the professional uh, line also they can take so they are asking for that uh, so many students as i told they were really frightened to join the science because science they are feeling that okay i cannot do that but once they are learning about it once they are joining they feel interested yes that's way that that is how we can find so many students are there So uh in your opinion what role does technology play in the teaching of modern science like in these modern times teaching science and we love, we have a lot of technology that is you know coming up and ai and things like that so how do you think that will help in you know teaching science students in the present day 
nowadays we are having technology they are at a finger point they can find so many informations about it any of the concept they are accessible to them they can uh, find out the information about every day it is getting updated right technology is updating uh, many researches is going on because science is doing that is they are learning by doing right yes. so every day there is a new concepts that is coming out that they are learning that is also there and uh, 3d animations are there that is helping them we are having virtual lab that is uh, so that they can perform the experiments which are complex that is also helping them to do that one simulations are there so these all things are helping students nowadays so they are more interested they can perform such a complex experiments they can see how heart is working or how uh, they can do that car mechanically how they it will be going so they can do all these things so technology always they are helping for us uh, so what advice do you uh, like to give the aspiring science teachers in the you know who are aspiring to become science teachers today of course growth mindset should be there and uh, they should be having passion for science they should have a solid subject knowledge they should be um eager to learn new they should update themselves uh, because every day because as i told science is not uh, that is constant it is not there every day we are getting updation over there they should have about that deep in their knowledge about what they are going to teach that should be there and um, they should see that how the students can be engaged by doing the activities or which projects will be helping them to learn more about the concept and they should plan according to that so and they should make the subject in such a way that they are feeling interested in doing that one and that is relevant to their real life that should they uh, make uh, make the concept like that one they should uh, share the that is lesson plan has to be made in such a way they should say some stories about the scientist about the mysteries which are unsolved they can ask them you can also solve that one day you can also solve about all these things there are many other things also but they should have the passion for science subject yeah. that is i agree with you yeah without passion i think uh, as a teacher you can never have an influence over the child so can you give us some examples of activities that you personally have done with children in order to you know keep them engaged in the class in the subject yeah to make a concept understand always there should be an activity so that they can understand okay it can be virtually also you can show them through the videos or uh, some activities as i told that virtual lab is there you can make them students that how to cut the uh, this one you know dissection is there that the students love they are frightened about that but they love to do that one they are when they personally do that they are, that is also there in the experiments so hand on experiments are there and um, activities they are doing at home as i told many of the motors are there how it is working and check the uh, this one animal is behavior of water if i ask them please keep that bottle in the fridge and see that what exactly it is happening these all things are uh, making them interested in doing this things so this all things help talking about the future like in future for for your students have you any goals or projects that you have thought of in mind so that you know you will uh, bring that on for the students in the school actually uh, what is happening students are having diverse uh, things in their mind right and there are diverse careers also and, uh, and so if they are interested in some of the topics or in some of the subject they should be allowed to do that one if you are forcing them to do any one thing so maybe they are not interested they are just doing for test and just scoring marks actually that one but the student should be uh, allowed to do the things according to their interest so uh, they, we can allow them to do the experiments which they want to do so they they can think about it they can create something new some new uh, say any of the mechanical uh, car or something that they are thinking or without using the fuel they can go for it so many things than digital lab should be there or virtual reality simulation i want that it should be there so that students can perform complex uh, complex experiments so that they can grow more interest should be uh, there in the students they can go for it okay uh, so i would like to ask if there any principle or you know any philosophy that you follow personally so that you know you make sure that your children uh, succeed 
in their studies in their life so any personal principle that you follow that with your students that you want them to succeed and that is why you follow anything like that i always uh, say uh, to students uh, success story of the other students who has already achieved their uh, success in their life of course they are having hard working is there they have to do regular practice okay that that they had to do and <laughs> of course passion for learning they should uh, know about the concepts what they are studying what is related to where it will go many new concepts are there every day there is something new that is discovering about uh, environment about uh, genetics there are many topics because all subjects are record uh, there are their physics is there chemistry is there so there are many new things that is developing day by day so i whenever i am getting some of the news or if i am updated about some of the things i relay that message to them and i share uh, all the things if i find that what they have to do in the colleges or in the future what they can do about that one whatever information i am getting i am sharing with them so that they can get interested in that that i follow uh, another thing is you have you mentioned that you have been here for the past 16 years so over the 16 years what is the kind of growth that you are seeing or the development and what is the school doing you know to ensure that your children are in par with what is happening uh, in the current a uh, moment of course it is the technology i can see that technology is developing day by day and we are getting it in our school which other schools are not providing but they are students are getting they are well developed in this one so when the students are going out they are already skilled they know much more about that technology so it is very helpful to show them all that one okay so in last 16 years of course it is a long journey we had done that time we were not having this much of technology but day by day it has passed we are getting so many of things students know about uh, how to handle with that so technology is helping them they are free to use that one so that 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 is the thing i can see of course in future we'll be getting more technology and students will be learning because we are having robotics we are having coding students has done that one which is nowadays they are using right students are using that one and in the near future they will get more things to learn about that so many workshops are there many sessions has been conducted about this so students are interested in that one uh, so also i am aware that uh, you have two girls who have you know studied in the school so as a mother from a different point of view how would you see the education in the school has you know helped them or molded them in their lives of course it they are already prepared when they had gone to the colleges they were already prepared about as i told technology so powerpoint presentation they were already skilled about that so it has helped them because they had already prepared and they were having that knowledge how to do that one so they were very much confident to do all these things and they were because they were having science background i, I was also there for helping them they were making projects individual projects and uh, this one group projects they were always ahead of it both my girls so that is a good thing that they had learned from here and uh, i am also aware of rich uh, you know a uh, number of students who are you know having uh, look up to you yes and we know that there are many pe- many students are wishing that you were here on the podcast so we consider it a privilege is there any message that you would like to give your students as a science teacher i will always have that dream that my students should go for the science careers they should go for it there are nowadays many new careers it is coming uh, for science like ai coding i want that students should go f- uh, for this they can go for genetics they can go for medical they can go for physiotherapist many of the doctors engineers many variety careers are there they can go for it if any they need any help i will always be there for them any informations when they are asking i am uh, providing them the information how can go for je or how can they can go for iit and if they are uh, getting any chances in the other uh, colleges that also i'll be whatever informations i'll be getting i will always be there for them so if they are asking anything for about it i'll be there thank you so much tipanita miss it was such a pleasure hosting you thank you so much thank you <laughs>